Well, welcome back everybody, Smithy here, and welcome to another episode of my Jurassic World in Minecraft. Uh, the new additions to the petting zoo uh, seem to be quite happy, hello there. And uh, yeah, very happy to say the least. I do love these Apatosaurus, they are just gorgeous, especially now we've got both types. <laughs> What's that one doing in there? Out you get, it's supposed to come out, go on, out you get. Come on, there we go, where it gets you out of there. It's a bit deep for him at the moment. Calamimus, look at that, gorgeous, isn't it? And uh, yeah, let's go over here and see our Stegosaurus. And because they grow so slowly now, it's really cool because they really look like uh, little babies. These are a bit too small to ride, haven't put the saddle on yet. Uh, but looking very good. I've just been thinking what else I can bring in here, but we'll come back that, come back that, come back to that later. Yeah, so what we're going to do is carry on with the Pachycephalosaurus arena, because I want to get moving on this. Well, last time we were sort of looking at how it sat in terms of this. I've got, in the end, I was quite happy, but at the back here, it needs to just ensure, if I just change back really, Hey, it needs to make sure we can see. Yeah, we need to be able to see from here, which we can, because even in this control box here, we can see what's going on. So the idea is that I need to extend the roof uh, out as such. So what I'm going to do is going to do a bit more. Uh, I'm going to, as I say, follow this particular area here. And then I shall come back. I need to make sure there's light in here. See, already the lighting is pretty dark in here, under here. Even though we've got this uh, lighting here. So I might have to end up putting some lighting in the floor uh, to brighten things up. Yeah, I might have to do that. Just to, just to keep it going. Oh, that was just the floor plan, wasn't it? So there we go. So what I'll do is I'll carry on doing this and then I shall come back as such. Well, welcome back everybody. It's taken about an hour's work so far, but uh, I wanted to give the Pachycephalosaurus arena that feel of a big top uh, circus because it's actually a tarpaulin, but we haven't got tarpaulins in it, so we have to do the best we can. And you can see now, sitting here, on the, without putting the roof on yet, that you feel like you're in a circus tent. Uh, I haven't lifted it up down here, it's obvious I'm going to have to light it up. But let's go and have a look at this. Now, the secret to this will be making it the basic shape. So this is the front of the area, and it's not finished yet, but what I've got to do is try and stick to the pattern I have created. And I know from the from the pictures that literally this is quite straight, although I feel it sort of comes out a bit more at the corners here, but we can add that later. The secret is to stick to the basic template, do the work, add a few features in. Now what I've done here, look, is made this wider, wider and wider to make the drop longer uh, from the art. And you can see the drop exactly like a tent would be if you put all these uh, structures up, which are all pylons. It's the sort of thing. Now the one thing we haven't done is put any ropes and stuff on. But that's the whole point of this, is it's open. Uh, what I'm doing now is doing the back. You can see this side. I started altering it, but then I should have done and like that line there is slightly different. So what I've decided to do is let's do the basic shape, then I can delete bricks and re-put them in. Because what I want to do here is this should really come out like a pointy bit to there, so this really should come to there and round. But I can shape that later because it'll be very easy to do on both. So as long as I stuck to the middle bit here, I'm quite happy. Equal shape, equilibrium, and it comes out. And when I light it up, it's gonna it is it is gonna look good at the end. So what I'm doing now is the back side of it, and what I'm doing is making sure again we have got to come right out to the here, and I intend having the pylons coming out at the back of here, so the pylons, so that tent structure, or uh, put the pylons uh, at certain points. Maybe this area here might be enclosed as well, so we don't do it. So when I get to it, so the secret again is on this side, I'm coming out three instead of two, and literally it's continue that design as we've done uh, on the other side, uh, making sure we hit three. So it's a case of being quite religious in terms of making sure that uh, we stick to the plan 
and then I can alter it afterwards. Now this particular one, I'm going to make this go flat out right the way across. Uh, so it's a case again of uh, just working out as you go along. And I know people have asked me, how did you build that? And it's the thought process that goes into it. And this being one of the hardest, well, it's not one of the hardest, it's just one of the many hard builds because we've only got some slight pictures of overhead views of this structure here, which uh, is very similar, wide apart. Uh, and then what I'm going to do really is I'll probably do a bit more to the top, but we can do that again afterwards once we finish off design. I know it's basically right, uh, and that's all that really matters. Uh, and once you get this, I can just go back into uh, filling it in, and then literally the back side of it will resemble the front in that it needs to really to stick out much longer on these sides. So where it's quite tight where the center poles go up, this is not like that. And it's just a case of spreading out and making sure it's just above those pillars there. The aim is really to finish off this, and I've only got three more. Literally, it would almost finish off there. So I've got to come back quite flat. Uh, and then we can add the final alteration. So it's always better to do that. It's just my advice, don't have to take it. Uh, oh, this is a three, by the way, now, because I've extended it from two on this side again to stick out. And that's it, see so coming out there. I might have to do a few more, but uh, we shall see. I might go to four on this particular side because of the fact that we've got this bowed arena at the back. And I want it all under cover because it just makes a lot of sense to do that. See this one now. I think I'm going to make it four. So it's just a case of coming out a bit more like we did the other side. And going back and two until I'm happy with it uh, in terms of fitting the curvature of the seating area. That's what I want to do here. And I, what I may do is, what might be good here, is to do what I did with this in terms of might now bring this out how many blocks in fact we're pretty close I feel the secret here would be to this let's just bring let's just bring this out see where it finishes up and how many blocks I've got to play with I think I've got two levels to play with we're not sure oh no I've got three haven't I yeah I've got three because if I do this yeah that's pretty good right so we've got a bit of regal room there which means one two three so I think what I've got to do is probably come out on this one to round about there yeah make it sort of come out to there so what I'll do is I'm going to do a bit more of this side and once I've got the basic design we will uh, come back there we go see so it will actually look like it goes back at a very shallow uh, roof on this particular side. So we'll come back once I do a bit more. So guys, welcome back. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. Uh, however, these spikes, I, I said before, they're not big enough yet. So we'll fix them afterwards because of the roof and the way it is and the level. But I am going to sort them and make them a bit higher uh, to give it some more contour. But we'll sort that afterwards because, as I said, we have look, got the roof starting to come round here. Literally like that uh, to come round. I've still got to do a bit over here. But what I want, I'm going to do is literally there. It will come there. And then there's a, this, what I've got is this little balcony area here to finish off. Uh, it just needs to come round and that needs to finish off there. So I've got a bit more to do. Uh, let's have a look underneath. It's got to be, the roof is there, but as I say, I'm going to make these go up a lot higher. But uh, it's ideal when you do a build like this to start it off and then you can make the necessary changes later. So I'm very happy, very happy at this circus tent idea. Uh, if we just go into here again, it looks quite... Uh, not as imposing as like because we, we've got to go up another eight blocks because now this base is so big it just dwarfs that bit that we started with but that's fine I'm quite happy with that because it, it's not many blocks because all I have to do is instead of start going like here now I just start going up higher sooner so literally instead of being one high here I can go for the big blocks and start going up but that's that's going to be at the end because say I'm trying to get the shape exactly right 
Uh, literally nearly finished there. I uh, just need to keep checking it and coming back. But uh, I put the lights on. Yeah, so that's the shape of it. Uh, I'd say the middle bits have come up and it will look the part in the end. So let me just see. That is... I've kept that. I've just got to get the shape right here in terms of that. You can notice when I fly across, I've got the shape of the back is spot on nearly and I just literally have to come above now it's going to start there that's going to be outside just here and here it's sort of like a seating area and then this needs to come round so I'm going to spend a few more minutes on this finishing off the flat roof bit and then we can come back and start looking at the uh, centre point which have got to be a lot higher as I said so I'm happy with the lower sections and I've lit it up inside and put some barriers in. So in terms of that, uh, we just need to do the roof now and finish it off. That's fine because I'm quite happy we got the rest of it. I mean, it's it's uh, fine in here in day and night. And what I am going to do though is put like some roof panels like you would get in a tent or something like that. So if you're up here, this now looks quite impressive as such. This would be something that you'd be proud to go in. Uh, so I just need to light it up with some uh, light panels as such. Uh, but it does look the part. I've put in the slabbed area at the back, almost like a standing area. And I've got to put some sort of finish off touches there. So what we're going to do is, you can see that now, look at the design as such like a proper stadium but almost like a cross between a stadium and a big circus it's a circus tent so what I'm going to do now is I didn't just finish off this little bit so what I'm going to do now though is to try and get the actual top bit a lot better that's what I'm going to do next so that is there so really speaking, I really need to start building it up from around about here. So I'm going to have to start changing it. So what I'm going to have to do is sort of do a template to search from this side because it's a single one. And uh, start building it up, which doesn't. Uh, it's not going to work like that. Right, it will work like that. And it won't work like that. <laughs> That's interesting. That is very interesting. I might have to start from here. Now that is a single block. That is, ah, there we go. Yeah, that's more like it now. Uh, so what I'm gonna have to do is take out that, see? Take out that and then build it up as such so like that and then I'm going to have to uh, literally work out how to do it so we're going to have a much bigger bit at the front uh, and this is where it's going to have to start going up in twos or threes actually I just realised it could actually go up in threes as such We shall see. What I'm going to have to do is have a play around with this now, to be honest. To be brutal honest, it might be better actually to come back in the morning and start looking at it a bit more because that is, that's not steep enough now, see, so I really need to start going up. So that is got to be a three. So you can see now I'm starting to get rid of uh, lots of this uh, because I need to go three up again so I need to start building this up now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with it uh, and then come back and show you once I've got this first one I'll leave that one there and then and work with that and come back with it uh, but I might leave it till the morning now come back and uh, carry on uh, because it's usually better like that to come back and call that a day so we'll come back once I've done the next bit 
So, I have done quite a lot, although you can't see it at the moment. Uh, I've changed, I'm going to show you first of all what I've done. You can see straight away actually the one on the right uh, has been changed. Uh, this because the other ones were too small. So I had to go back to the drawings of this, but you can now see the difference uh, in terms of the, the roof which I've changed. And if I just come down here, you will see that it's been sort of dug out. I haven't finished the lighting yet because, and I'll show that at the dark at the end, I've been really hiding lighting to make sure it looks magnificent in the dark as well as it does in the daylight. So that's one thing I've been really concentrating on and we'll show that end. But however, so I've got to literally match up this side now the same, which I will do. Uh, although that sort of it's not quite right that is it that needs to go like that ah there we go maybe I did put no maybe I did put that like that if it's the same so I had to do quite a bit of building with that but it's definitely way better than that was and in fact when you actually look at this the pictures this bit actually isn't very high because it, when it shows you the clip from here it literally shows a great big area as such from here we don't see this area that's my design Oh, yeah, I suppose you might have noticed now. I have implemented the visitor access. Uh, I haven't just quite finished yet. That'll be the end. But you can see the pathway around here. I think I'm going to make that slightly bigger. I think it's more impressive. But let's go and show you. So you're coming to walk along here. And you can see this lovely stadium. And there are four entrances, which I'm really, really, really pleased about. The first entrance is here. Uh, we just literally walk in uh, straight at the steps and you come into this view here come into this wow <laughs> so you're in and it literally I'm so happy it comes out at this secondary level here so it really blends into the the whole stadium feel so that's that entrance there so we'll go back out here I've got a, what I'm going to do is uh, yeah I've got to put all the trees around and the bushes and stuff uh, and uh, so the other way is we'll come over here this path does need to be wider if you go to stadiums the uh, path is way wide right look at this this ended up really well and really good uh, so we've got left and right staircase into the main area so literally it's a staircase up like that you come out to here on the top tier and it is so lucky well I suppose it's lucky I haven't had to do any alteration. It literally comes out literally where I wanted it to be. I know literally. There we go. So we come up this way and again it comes out over here. Uh, what I'm going to do though is put, I might, I thought the moment just leave it like that. So, but I had thought about just putting like a roofed, a different type of roofed area here, but then I haven't. Uh, and then if we come back out here, I am definitely going to make this wider. We come down to this side and literally again, lovely staircase comes out at this end which comes to the other end of the arena like that absolutely really pleased I'm really I really am pleased with it comes seating area everything is just really really fitted in well uh, now the lighting let's go time set night uh, the lighting means that we can have even shows I'm going to do this as well this is the control box as such uh, it's going to be a control box for monitoring and managing the show uh, but you can see now what I've done is I've lit the whole thing is lit up at night uh, and what I've been very clever about is these have uh, these are there but these lighting here look I've just subtly embedded it in and then what I was doing was finishing off the last little bit of lighting over here uh, let's just go back to here and you have to sort of get it absolutely spot on because it's got to be at this level to put the light in so one two three that side Ooh, one two three I think that was it once it that one there yeah so it really blends in and then it's going to be a case of, of uh, so one two three four I think that's gonna be about right I don't want too many yes yeah, there we go that'll do just there because you're at the top and the lighting and one more literally there there we go so I was just finishing off when daylight came 
yeah so it's quite subtle I haven't finished that side yet remember I finished this one so I just need to now finish off the subtle light in there if I render it is it one two three four that one there and I think if I'm right what did I do over there so have a quick look it's just trying to get it symmetrical uh, oh I see well, just that one it's two out so I've got that slightly wrong so I need to put it's that one there it's supposed to be so put that there and that one there and then it should be if I'm correct just have to keep going around here can't wait to put the Pachycephalosaurus in here ah just to the corner and then switch it around there but you can see at night I'm gonna go outside and show you in a minute just one more dead center there uh, so it is now completely lit so you can have a fantastic evening show oh look they're growing they're still growing look at that it's because it's been taking days to build this aren't you cool they look good at night as well don't they oh the uh, stegosaurus are getting a, a wee bit big now aren't they triceratops are just about right so let's just have a look at this in the dark uh, oh one little bit look one little bit that needs lighting up so it's sort of again it's got to be two levels down oh that's going to be quite easy because all I have to do is put one there and there really and then do the same the other end and we'll go outside to look at it I think yeah so we just need to do there and there so let's go and have a look at it before daylight comes up so if you actually now compare with the rest of the park now because I've done that new one you can see it's really well lit so there's only a couple of areas now that we have to light up and I haven't put the lighting uh, around here as such yet so as I said any new builds are going to be completely lit at night as well so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bit more with this it's not going to get finished today I'm going to do a bit more with this because uh, what we didn't do is put a couple more dinos over there in that side so we are nearly there it's taken me a lot of hours to do this and it has ended up pretty well so I'm going to do a bit more and then we'll come back and finish it off well everybody we've got a visitor <laughs> just popped up the stairwell uh, and quite appropriate the first visitor in here is Hallows Right 95. I'm well impressed. You were just over here and you took a, a bit of a walk. Uh, thank you very much for the nice comments on Twitter. Uh, Hallows Right 95 has got his own channel. Uh, have a look on Twitter. Is uh, is he's doing some new builds again? He is uh, he built the original uh, Pachycephalosaurus arena that I used on this world. So thank you very much and inspiring me to do this. Uh, so let's just go out here a minute because uh, we I couldn't believe how much time we we just skip through time so in, t ooh, in terms of I've got to do quite a bit more really still I've got to replace that over there I've got to do some more lighting and I was toying with the idea uh, and I haven't got it here I'm toying with the idea of doing something else at the edge but uh, I'll have to have a play around with that which we haven't got time to do today uh, so if that's there maybe the only thing I could probably do is put something dead center there and also pro oh, let's have a look at this just light that bit up there it's a, a, I might mm, that's a bit literally literally one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven let's just see there we go i just want it all lit up uh with the little amount of lighting as i can uh and then because we've got to put all this pathway here and the water park's over there yeah water park that's gonna be fun we haven't got to that yet because i want to go back to sauna and do something else as well so uh, one thing I would stay oh yeah sunrise is coming wow look at that sunrise is here I like that that's really cool yeah sunrise right so uh, there is one more oh whoa they're growing faster than I expected there's one more dino uh, they're growing quite fast much faster than I expected look at the uh, Gallimimus as well 
You are cool. Yeah. Look at that. Pet it. Oh, that's another good shot. Another good shot. Yeah, Gallimimus. So anyway, we need the other breed that was in the zoo is the Paracephalophus. Uh, so we need to get some of those and what I'm going to do is going to because the main uh, dino that everybody rides on is the Triceratops we're going to put some Triceratops and uh, Paracephalophus in here so let me just go and get the eggs and we'll come back and do that so here we are let's bring these new just right here actually right over being overlooked uh, once we put the trees in though it won't be as clear as that so we've got to put some more trees in that'll be next episode uh, when we do all the fancy bits uh, so let's just put the Paracephalus. Oh no, we don't want that giant one in here. We'll leave that one there for now. We'll get rid of it afterwards. Uh, I keep doing that. Hey, that's better, isn't it? Anyway, you see the size of the baby and the full brown one. There's the baby there. So let's do another one. Oh, always oh, away in it. Two brown ones. And then let's hopefully you get a green one. Yay! We like that. Let's bring that over here. God, it looks so good, that building, doesn't it? Considering it's over a year old. <laughs> That's the thing on my builds. The number of these builds now are a year old, and, uh, yeah. Well, it's one of the it's star attractions. Uh, let me put one more in. Yes, there we go. Right. So, let's put in a couple more Triceratops. I do like Triceratops, they're very cool. Hey, especially this green one. The Triceratops not old enough to hold items. Oh, because I double clicked it. So you can't put the tracker on it yet. It's got to be big enough. Oh, a noise. So, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, the... Uh, we can't bring the Pachycephalosaurus in because they're in the 1.89 version. So what I'm going to do is a special thing is I will take the arena out and go and place it into another, uh, place it and copy and paste it into a 1.9 world until we get the new Jurassic Craft. Oh, look at that, look at that. That's cool, isn't it? I love them. They're brilliant. Hey! You are cute. You are definitely cute. Look at all the, look at the deep. Oh, see the detail there. When it breathes, you can actually see it breathing. Look, and it, and its neck. I always look, watch its neck. Constantina in on the tail. Moves from side to side. Look at that. That is so cute. You can imagine people riding it. Pretty sad, really. But that's the way these parks work. Oh, yes. One more. So we can keep rotating. I've worked out we can keep rotating animals. So when they're being born, they go in here and then they will be outside. One more. There you go. That's the final one. Uh, next episode, because we haven't finished this yet, and we've got to do a bit more. Next episode, I'm going to bring in a new creature into my world that's never before. Uh, ooh, maybe it has featured, uh, but it hasn't fe been featured for a long, long time. Uh, so there you have it. That's the end of the episode. We've done absolutely loads with the arena over there. Still got a bit more to do for next episode. And then we sort of got what I'm going to do is uh, start putting some trees in. And quite rightly, it was suggested I should put some more like palm trees in. Because if you remember rightly, there they are over there, aren't we? We've got these palm trees over by the uh, Mosasaurus arena which I have got saved so what I'm gonna do though is what <laughs> T-Rex as remember the T-Rex escaped the t <laughs> so, oh look uh, it's scared off I just love yeah it's doing that funny thing again that's <laughs> so funny just love the way it just runs across the water <laughs> hasn't gone for that the other uh, that one's gone, isn't it? Never mind, that's well super cool. Oh, the other thing is I really need to do is start looking at a monorail, aren't I, as well? That's a, one thing. And, uh, yeah, so uh, here, it, here are the trees. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to have to... Uh, what I'll do is just copy and paste the top bit and then literally put all the 
the tree trunks in and then I can paste the tots on them to make them more lifelike but that's for next episode uh, thank you very much indeed for watching everybody thank you for all the comments I do you know I take sometimes take a bit more time than others to reply to those comments but I do love reading them uh, and again uh, as soon as you click on the video because if you're a regular watcher go and click that like button for me it really counts with YouTube if you press the like button and if you've been watching for like months and months and months then it would be really appreciated if you could just spend a few seconds now whilst watching this if you're still here go and press that like button thank you very much indeed uh, we'll be back soon i am just showing you where this is I, f I feel I might just change it slightly but it is the right shape uh, we shall see see what I can do in next episode Bye-bye all. Have a great day. Thank you.